production. Uh, we all know that an ant and tiger become the popular thing in town now. Why? It's not tell me why. Okay, because of Korea or because of the pandemic. Into it. Which is 
we can afford to buy it to agent because we use very money to buy the chemical we use producing that particular one. So I said we can use table salt or industrial salt. So then dilute your table salt, then hand it to it. It's difficult, so you can try it to make it one. You had a just to the stores, they had it, just to have it and watch how the stores it comes. So you can try it. Experiment. Yes. Thank you. So, um, it's practical. It's almost like this. Yes. So I said hand sanitizer is a, or hand sanitizer is a liquid gel or foam. You don't need to peel vast majority of microbes on the hand. I was saying this as an microbiologist that as much as you're trying to prevent yourself from germs and fall, try as much as possible not to displace the commensals. I don't know if you've heard about the word commensals before. Commensals are all microbes that are supposed to be in a particular region. They are supposed to be left out from there. So as much as we are trying to protect ourselves, we should not still displace our commensals because if you do that, then we are still going to health challenges because those are the people that are still going to see. For example, there are some people that decide to always disrespect their skin. And it still makes me wonder, why do you want to disrespect your skin? So if you are standing away from this particular microbe, it's because that will cause epidemics. So your skin, it has to prevent infections from getting into your skin. Then for the ladies, this actually happens to the ladies. They are the ones that does so many cleaning and cleaning and cleaning and cleaning, trying to progress things like that and like that. So in the process of cleaning, you are moving the comments out. And you see you get skin infections in the process of your comments out. So as much as we are trying to protect ourselves, we should still try to be protective about the comments out of our skin. So don't go to extreme about things. I'm a scientist, but don't go to extreme about things. Follow the right thing, don't go to extreme, because A is doing something. There's no sense to back up the it, it's no truth. So at the end of the day, you will cause more problems to yourself. So thank you. So the formulation of hand sanitizer is very easy, and uh, people do it with different ingredients. But, like I said, it's a PhD work, so coming up, as someone is trying to make hand sanitizers for, uh, I think, they will pack, yes, they pack all of the plants. It's trying to take the aquatic content from the back of the plants to make hand sanitizer. But the most important thing is that when you're making an hand sanitizer, the main ingredients you need is alcohol. Because that's the major thing it is. The fact that all the time that WHO and CC, that's that center for disease prevention, control and prevention. And the WHO is a World Health Organization. You're working on something and you're like, in case you can't find hand sanitizer, you can't find soap and water, please use alcohol as much as you can. Or spirit, because that's the main ingredient in hand sanitizer. But also, when you think that there's a percentage that must be maintained, which is between 60 to 95 percent. So, any hand sanitizer that is not within that range, please don't go for it. Don't go for 100 percent above base hand sanitizer so that you don't get yourself bored. And you'll be wondering how do I get the 60 to 95 percent above? Very easy. It comes to 100 percent, you dilute. It's an easy way of diluting. You have a uh, chemical flask, so you can wait for under 70%. So that means you're going to put 30% water and you have 70% of your alcohol. So that way you have what 70%. So if you're waiting for 65, you put 35% of water, sterile water, please, because it's very important. Clean water. Clean water. So that you don't contaminate, uh, contaminate the process at the end of the day. Should I get or make pumped clean? When choosing um, something happened, when you're choosing a core based sanitizer, please, there are do's, do's and don'ts. It's very important that you can make sure you get your hands on it. So please, choose an hand sanitizer that has at least 60% as well. So if you don't find it that has 80, that has 70, please don't go below 60%. It's very important. And the reason is because, I'll say the reason later, but I can mention it. The reason is because the microorganisms you're trying to kill, they have proteins. They have protective quality. 
and them. You see, when you have skin on the world, the way you can't see them, they have what protect them too. For viruses, they have capsules. So it's on them. So viruses have envelopes. That's why we have envelope virus and non envelope virus. Then for bacteria, we have uh, cell walls, which is because of carbohydrates and proteins. So same thing for fungi, we have titans, more of fungi. So this is made of carbohydrates and proteins. So if you say they have that, so it takes, if you're going in lesser, you should be effective on that protein to detect all of And what are you doing when you're trying to use an ant sanitizer? You're trying to denature the protective thing of the microbes to make it inactive. Because if you denature the protective problem of the microbes, every other thing they pour out, it doesn't come together to work. So as much as the same way our skin is important to us, the same way they are all protect, their protective companies and products for them to survive. So if you go less than 60%, it will have no effect on them. So that's why we're saying that don't do anything that is less than 60%. And which type of alcohol? Please, ethanol or ethyl alcohol. Huh? Then isopropyl or isopropanol. Or two for banal, so I can't just say what I don't do. They are still the same as all anyway, they're just acting uh, OH group to them. That's my cousin group to them. That's why we have to go out and press the hand on that, my cousin group to eat and have ice cream for banal. Another one, they have to go banal. So those are the alcohol we should use. So they don't use an anti sanitizer that is alcohol free. Please. Yeah, just, that one is just a fancy. Most, uh, most of these hand creams that they sell are cosmetics. They try to reduce the alcohol content. They say you use it to mix your skin itself. So those ones are not an anti-dog. They just help your skin to maintain its texture and all. So the alcohol content is very low. So please, if you're using anti-dog for protection against viruses, microbes, and species, please don't use alcohol free and sanitizer. Please the next also, when you're using hand sanitizer, please follow the label instruction for use. It's very important. The reason is that if you follow the label instruction, you know I said hand sanitizers are made from different ingredients. And different ingredients affect different people in different ways. So if you buy things, they write on their labels, the allergic reactions, the people that are not supposed to use it. So for someone that is making hand sanitizer for the part of the plant, my right on the label that some with social um, um, skin issues or some with social condition should not use it. So that's why I said you should, talk, you should follow the instruction on the label if you're buying an hand sanitizer or somebody produces it. Or even if you are producing one and you research later and you know that oh, this thing has negative effects or something. You have to put a label for direction on how to use it. And also, don't buy an alcohol based and sanitizer that is stored in a food container. Please, don't buy it. There's a container to store hand sanitizer. You don't buy an alcohol that is stored in the same box that they used to store granules or they used to store something else. Please, don't buy our cheese or uh, soft drinks. Please, don't buy an alcohol sanitizer that is stored. And that kind of protein. Now, material needed when you're producing an hand sanitizer, you need a sterile water. Now, the reason I'm saying sterile or clean water is because um, at the end of the day, when you produce your hand sanitizer, you may have issues of microbial infections, microbial infections, for instance. Like you may eat for a while, then you need to see something like algae growing on it because they are using it and they are also making them to grow it. Or fungi growing on it. Most times, those organisms come from the water because they are not sterile. And if you leave it like that, and then you are trying to protect or they are still going to be very simple. So clean water and sterile water is very important when you are producing and sanitizing them. Then also carbon pole. Now this carbon pole, I'm going to talk about a little chemistry here, it's called me. This carbon coal was first came from what is called carbon mail. Now, carbon mail, that's 
That's C A R B O M E R. Carbomen. Now, a carbomen is a synthetic polyandride acid. A synthetic polyandride acid that is cross-linked with an added sucrose, just in our experience, an added sucrose, and also has 56 to 85% carbonic acid in it. Now, what am I trying to say? It's all in general. So, it's as a carbon core, it's like a polysaccharide. I don't know if you know starch. It has many things inside. So, it's like a polymer. The polymer is something that contains many microbes, many microbes. So, that's what the carbon core is. So, it contains disaccharides. That's why I said it's frosting with high sucrose. Because the disaccharides made from glucose and glucose. So, it's a disaccharide. So, it contains different micro molecules. So it's not just one thing, that's why we're calling it polyacrylate, the polymer, sorry, because it has plenty micro molecules in it. So that's the power ball. Then also TA, which is triethyl alanine. TA is a viscous organic acid. It's a viscous organic acid. And what, what the duty is just for neutralizing. It helps you to neutralize the system and help you to raise the pH of your carbon pore. Because the carbon pore is the jelly agent in the hand sanitizer. It's the jelly agent in the hand sanitizer that makes it jelly. So what the TV is going to do to me is to raise the pH of the carbon pore so that it becomes jelly. So that's why I said the viscous organic acids. It helps you to raise and adjust the pH of things in um, a solution. There are other ones, but we are advised to use TA. The reason why other ones are not used is solar hydroxide or potassium hydroxide. But we don't use it because they are more expensive. So we use TA. TA is easy to get than sodium hydroxide and potassium hydroxide. So there are all other it will help you to raise or help you to raise the pH of the carbon core. Then the next one is aqua, right? Set the form, and see aqua is the same as the thermal, and isopropene. Then we have the isoprene. We already said something about that is the moisturizer. Put it into your hand sanitizer and perfume to give you fragrance. Then some people use essential oils. Now essential oil most times serve the same function as perfume. But the uh, thing is that that is optional, so it's not really something you need to put. But you can make it your own choice to put it because some of the essential oils have antimicrobial activity. So if you have it, it makes the sanitizer more protective. It's not compulsory, but you can if you want to give it a trace to it. So you can have a special essential oil in it. And when you are doing that, the thing is that you don't have to put that on the label so that people will you are the one that is the type of essential oil you have to eat if you are using that. Then I said aloe vera gel. Now, this aloe vera gel is the same thing with uh, the same thing with the carbon oil, with the TP agent. If you go to your um, kitchen, the WHO standard, the WHO standard should use aloe vera gel. But the thing is, over time, they discovered that aloe vera gel is actually expensive. So, I want an sanitizer to be available for everybody because of the pandemic. So they said, okay, let's do power ball. If you can work with it, and to start a solution that is not related to the skin, you can't get it to the skin. So because of that, it's okay. But if you have, you can do that. You can decide that your own brand is very easy. Get there and save the material for the deep brand. So you can use that very action. As you said, the same function with the power ball. Next slide, please. So I think I've already summarized the function, but we'll just go through this thing to get the carbon core. I think it's a water. Yes, I think I mentioned that. It's soluble in water. It's water soluble. So the only thing you need water for in this whole process is for the carbon core and the alcohol. That's all. You don't need water to produce the hand sanitizer. The water, that, that's why I said sterile water is very important. You use the water to dilute your power core because it becomes the powerful form. Now I want to mention something here too. This power core that we're talking about is only power core 940 and 980. 
that is used for the land and is good sale for use. Carbon monoxide forty or nine. These are the ones that are safe for use. You know, sometimes when we're using hand sanitizer, we end up not even washing our hands against all the dirty heat. So they are trying to protect you so that at the end of the day, we don't put it and still get issues because of the chemicals that are made up in the hand sanitizer. So it's only carbon monoxide forty or nine eighty. So the extent is a jelly agent. Please next slide. Um, yes, the genetic effects of the carbon pool is in two stages. So that's why your TA is very important. The first stage, I guarantee, say, is the dispatching and hydration of the carbon pool. When I say dispatching, you know now. Dispatch, dispatching the liquid to liquid. Uh, when we're talking about, I don't want to say liquid, liquid to liquid, liquid to gas, gas to liquid dispatching. So, so, but this one is liquid to liquid. So that's the line that is dispatched from to the That's what we're talking about. Hydration, that's the action of water. Then the second one, that's the neutralizing the solution by adding a chemical to increase the pH. So if you want the carbon core to so gel, two stages in the world. The first one is the one you're dissolving the water. That's the simple meaning of the image that I read there. You're dissolving the water. The second one is you're adding chemical to raise the pH of the carbon core, and that's where your TA comes in, the dry ethyl alanine, that's where it comes to play in this. So, as I said, there are other neutralizing agents too, you can see this that there's sodium hydroxide and potassium hydroxide. But um, the reason why I said sodium hydroxide and potassium hydroxide are extensive is because they are used for other functions too. People use them in the lab for chemistry and other things. So, it makes the demand higher than TA. Even though know, TA is used in cosmetics, they use it in cosmetics a lot. So what else? In our creams, yes, our creams, our lotions, TA is what they use for the jelly effect you feel in the cream and the lotions. This is the next one. So TEA is that area that is used to cause the body compound that is both a texture in me and in trial. But we know what they mean. That's the trojan compound. Then they try out that hydroxy group. So it has three hydroxy group and the trojan compound it means. So it helps to neutralize fatty acids, adjust and buffer the pH, and synthesize oils. So this in here, this TA is very soluble in water. So that's why we have it to carbon core to make it raise the pulp. Because I said carbon core to be soluble in water. So it is used primarily making surfactants. As a surfactant in water, it helps you to reduce tension between two liquids. And that's what surfactants do. We have to reduce tension between two liquids. Here's the next slide. So um, you try etin alumine, it's poly, it's an oily liquid and has an iron ammonia odor. So um, that's why later on we took a lot of precautions. I was going to be careful because Sometimes our systems are different. The way that we react is not the same way that we react. So we just use masks to protect yourself so that when you need to have uh, diarrhea and all as a result of the mutation that comes from the inhaling the chemical. So this trioethylene ethanolamine is produced from the reaction of ethylene oxide and vicious ammonia. So that's how we produce it from the lab. You add ethylene oxide, you get it. Then you had spacious ammonia. By the time you produce it, you have a colorless liquid, something like that, when it is produced. Next slide. So, after all, now, this is the main ingredient of hand sanitizer. It is very important. Yes, if you are, if it is not there, then there's no point in doing hand sanitizer. So, it's very important. And, uh, and this is because I think that the level of the hand sanitizer and put their activity which is attributed to the ability to denature and coagulate protein. He said the ability of you to um, destroy the protein with our microorganisms that makes their skin, that makes their skin. We don't call it skin, but I'm trying to make it simple. That makes their skin. For viruses, they have passes, they have envelopes. For bacteria, they have cell wall. So 
therefore come like that the sound of the truth was able to act in the two. That way we have the intonation of the school play, and that way they always be constant acting. So that's what this is really doing. It's not the only thing that disappears in your hands, but it's going to make the only thing inactive, so it's going to be effective. That's what we can do. So however, generally speaking, it's going to have to continue to sit in the next 5% of the world that are acceptable. This causes the, I already said that, then um, for CDC, the recommended is internal of 80% followed by the body. Then 70% followed by the body. Followed by the body means when I'm diluting it, I'm using it to be That's followed by the body. That's like, I use water, so followed by the body. That's the cubic we use followed by the body. So I use water to dilute it. So 70% followed by the body. 80%, that's what it means. And then another thing I will say, to make it more effective, you can use the two together, but it's not compulsory. As a microbiologist, I use the two together. Why? It's not more effective for destruction of viruses. Why? Isopropanol is more effective for destruction of bacteria. So they can have more, isopropanol has more antibacterial activity than it's alone. It has not had more antiviral activity. So, you can use that as your trade secret. Even though CDC and WHO recommend that we do the two together, so you can use that also as your trade secret. So, like I said, I already said that the moisturizer, you had to fix the uh, hand sanitizer friendly on your skin. Now, the reason why this is very important is because when you pour alcohol on your skin, it dries quickly. So when it gives you dryness of skin, so you put a moisturizer on the next and then you make the hand sanitizer to not make the skin dry and you still get the effect to it. This is next step. Then perfume to give it a sweet fragrance and then the day. Next step is. Now procedure, the procedure is very simple. Very, very simple. Next step. Very simple. The first thing is that you dissolve a cup of powder in water. When you're dissolving this, you breathe gradually, slowly. It's like you present the lungs for an apparent way of dissolving it. It's very important and you use the right water. Don't worry, I've seen it distressed, I've seen it dissolving, I've done that already. So you can do that today. It's like you don't have lungs and lungs, so I've done that already. So you obtain a lot of free dispersion to obtain when you do that. So you have to gradually begin to dissolve. Please, there's no grounds. If you're producing the quantity, actually it comes to 100 grams. You check the, the container that I showed you that it comes to 100 grams. So the answer type that you produce is depends on the other uh, kind of quantity. So you can decide to dissolve your whole 100 grams. Just because you have water, you should make sure you get a lot of free solution. Lot of free powder, you look at it. That's why I said it's passion. It's not quite clear. You see, everything is passed well in it. When you see the arrow, I'll show it to you. Here's the next one. Then procedure two, you had, now to make it, you had three drops of the cup of the tea leaves, the cup of corn, and stir. Please, when you're hacking your tea leaves, when you're stirring, please check the viscosity. It's very important. Because by the time you package, if it's too thick to press, it becomes a serious issue. It will come out. So by the time you're hacking the tea leaves, the cup of corn, Check as you're staring, you check the viscosity, you check how thick the tea is and how light the tea is. Because this stage is very important. Because after this, there's not really more drink, so you just check very well. Just for this. Then you have alcohol to eat to get your desired texture. You have alcohol to eat. So either you have your tannol below, depending on you, or you have the tannol and ice cream tannol. Together, it is there. Then the last stage is where you have, let's start with, where you have the glycerin and the perfume. Then hold up, the next stage. Hold up, your answer is tired and it's ready.
that's all. So we wait. Well, okay. It's great. the procedures before you make production mm -hmm. the concentration of the alcohol, mm -hmm. how you dissolve your carbon set up the red heat, the glycerin, I said all of the precautionary measures you need to take with it before you make your production. Then I said when you're making your production, it's not to be effective. Please don't contaminate it by using your hands, no. Then after producing, that's what I told him, that you should leave it for 24 hours because most time what happens at the end of production is that when you put your hand sanitizer down you begin to see algae and fungi those uh, green looking kind of thing is that the algae if you have the green algae sometimes they look red it's a red red algae so the green one you see green fighters you see the fighters it depends on the color of the algae then for the fungi the reason why I say you should leave it for 24 they produce spores we have different forms like vasopores, different kinds of spores. So any spores, it does not matter which kind of spore, they produce it. So you can leave it for 24 hours minimum. The alcohol will be able to react on them to kill the spores before you start packaging. Because if you don't kill the spores before you start packaging, by the time you seal, you put in a bottle and you seal, it makes spores to germinate. The environment becomes favorable for them and they begin to grow. So those are the precautions you need to put in place. So you just leave it for a while. Even the WHO, that's what they recommend you need from 24 to 48 hours. And it's possible that. There is no love. That's all. No. That's all. Then you can have a preservative if you want. If you're, the reason why I don't talk about preservative now is because hand sanitizers are not what is left for a long time due to the pandemic. It's something that so everybody uses it every time. You can't buy an hand sanitizer now and leave it for two months. It's not possible. I've not seen someone that will have hand sanitizer now and you have it for two months. With the whole pandemic issue. No. That's why I didn't really mention preservative. But you can have preservative to eat to make it last long if you're doing for six months, one year. Okay, thank you. Thank you. and every one of us. So have a very wonderful time. Have a good experience. And so at the end of today, we will have we will know how to make hand sanitizers, right? Yeah. Go for it. All right. Go for yourself. Thank you. So we go into practical now. Template for years. So just watch me, I will explain to you as I'm doing. So if you start as a template, we'll have what happened yesterday. So and we're preparing the hand sanitizer for elle-même. We will just follow the first step. And when we have finished, we will continue. So it's very important. So La première étape est de verser le carbocon qui a été déjà dilué. Carbocon, je suis dans une dizaine de water. Ça va être petit niveau. So the mixture is a little starchy because I said it's a polymer. I'm going to explain it. It has plenty micro molecules inside, so it's starchy. Le produit est un peu brillant. Ce n'est pas un produit clair. Donc, maintenant, je vais ajouter le TIA. 
And what the function? I said it's help us replace the pH of the carbon for so that it can become jelly. Don't you hear that? The cut of ah, the water of the carbon for. I told you you had it gradually. You don't have it. On a joué partout, il est bien mal, il faut ajouter un peu, un peu. Donc, au fur et à mesure qu'on ajoute, on sera en train de mélanger. So, 
there won't be any reaction. So you mix it together. You have the, the interaction. Yeah, it's one of the So that way you don't have a mixture and it's too watery. So you'll be able to maintain the viscosity. As I said, when I was explaining that you have the texture that you need in the production, your desired texture. So you, that way you avoid issue of having too watery, issue of having too thick. So that way you avoid those issues. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. So now we have. So this is how thick. So if you want more tea, you can add. So this is it. So, so if you want more tea, you can add more of the tea to eat before you add your internal. Si on veut, on peut ajouter des encoches de thé et de café. Thank you. 
Que chef. Vamos ver se você vê canal e compreende. Quando ele vai ao. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Isso é estranho. Ok. Vamos ver. Okay, okay. 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 Okay.